I like legitimately don't know how to talk about this. I I don't know how to start this video. I've tried like 15 times, uh, <laughs> and I just keep stopping because I'm like, nah, that's not how I want to say it. But I am not here to entertain you today. I am really not. I am. I am not okay right now. And I, it would be a disservice to you, from someone like me who who does pride himself in being honest with his audience, if I didn't say that up front, right? I am not okay right now. Um, and it's it's not because of one. It is kind of like because of a few particular things. But I'm not going to share those details. I'm going to talk about like an overarching problem I have going on. But before I even get into that, I'm going to give you the chance now to leave, uh, to X out of this video, because I'm going to be talking about some things that are very personal to me, and we're going to get real. We're not going to. This is. I'm not here to entertain. I'm not here to joke around or laugh or whatever. I'm just not here for that. And there's going to be minimal, minimal editing, and this is going to be a longer video where I rewind a lot and look like a a noob when it comes to YouTube. But I don't care. This is my channel. I'll do as I please. Um, so if you're not ready for that, if you don't find that entertaining, and if you don't give a shit, then just leave. Honestly, just leave. I, I don't, I don't have time for people like you anymore. Um, I don't care if I lose subscribers by saying that. Like, just leave. Uh, if you don't want any part of me as an individual trying to share something about myself that's been eating me up inside, then just leave. I don't have time for you. Um, for those of you that are sticking around, you're a true subscriber and a true friend. And I, I appreciate you. So... That's what you're getting into. It's been a minute 40 already. I hope you're ready. Uh, if not, too bad. So I want to get into this and just kind of talk about me in general um, and some things that have gone on in my life for most of my life. So <laughs> if you've ever seen giant chunks of time where I disappear or I... Uh, I go missing, if you will, or my channel becomes dormant. Uh, nine times out of ten, it's because of one specific reason. And that is because I struggle with depression. Um, and this isn't something... Depression is so much more than sadness. See, anybody can get sad. Anyone can be sad. You know, we lose loved ones. We're sad, right? Um... We, there's a lot of things that can, can happen in our lives that can make us sad. We, we, you know, our girlfriend cheats on us. We're really sad, right? That can, that can lead to depression. We get a bad grade on our tests. We get sad. We're sad. <coughs> but see, that's, that's not depression. Depression is being sad when everything is going right. Depression is, is feeling horrible about yourself, when you have sometimes everything going correctly in your life, that's depression. It's 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 very arbitrary to describe, but is so pinpoint and exact in how I feel, and sometimes how I feel is hard to describe uh, in words, right? But I'll do my best to kind of uh, describe it to you, and uh, that's that's what depression is, and that's what I've felt for a very large majority of my life, if not ten plus years. And I've bottled it up for a large majority of my, my childhood and teenage years. you got to remember, guys, I'm an adult. I'm 26 years old, right? I am well into my 20s, mid to late 20s, if you will, right? Um, I'm not a teenager. This isn't, this isn't a choice that I make, right? I never chose to be sad and unhappy. I know it's kind of a... Uh, it seems cool as a kid to be like that mysterious, sad, uh, moody kid in the back. And while that has a lot, to grow, lot with growing up... I feel like I never left that stage, not because I chose to stay there, but because I realized that there was something going wrong in my head. Um, I have a mental illness, and that is depression. Um, it can happen to anybody. It can happen biologically. Maybe you, your family has a predisposition to depression. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's the case for me, but it just happened. And I, I don't know how. I, I can't really pinpoint it to anything. It just happened. And it's something I've been dealing with for like 10 years, man. Ever since I was like 14. So maybe even longer than 10. Um, so like, what, 12 years maybe? It's hard to really pinpoint it, but it just kind of all came on at once. I don't know how to describe it. it, it it's like this... Uh, it's like you're constantly... It, it's constantly fuzzy. Like, your vision is constantly fuzzy. And you're trying to understand, like, why you can't see clearly. And the more you squint, the fuzzier it gets. And then, like, the, you open your eyes and it's still fuzzy. And you're like, what is going on? 
that's what depression feels like to me. It's just this looming cloud of just worthlessness. Um, and, you know, depression, like I said, it's not a choice. It's not, not something I choose to be, and it doesn't mean I'm weak, you know? I, <laughs> it really doesn't. Um, it doesn't mean anybody's weak. and it, it, It's so hard to describe, you know what I mean? It's really hard to describe. For me, whenever those long stretches of time... Um, happen where I don't upload a video or things don't happen. What's going on in my head is that I am paralyzed mentally. It's the only way I know how to put it. I am, I am mentally paralyzed. Depression to me is just it. It completely disables me, and I can't do anything. I I become just a slug, if you will. There's so many thoughts going through my head at that time, where I it's like a chain of thoughts, right? It's like you you start thinking about all these other things and then it all just builds on it. And that's where the depression just kind of takes hold and lets you seep into that, those feelings and those thoughts. Right. Um, and thoughts are powerful. Your, your frame of mind is a powerful thing, but with depression, it almost nine times out of 10, it takes all the bad things that you perceive about yourself and it magnifies it to where that is all you see about yourself. You might have good qualities you might have really, really great qualities that that show that, you know what, I'm not a bad person. You know what, I actually have worth in this world, and I, you know, I have reasons to feel good about myself. All those things are, like, literally tucked inside of a box, and you can't open that box, and all you can see is it's just total darkness. That is what depression feels like, and that is what it feels like for me. Um, and I have these, I have moments where it's ups and downs where I feel I feel good, and then I feel bad. But it definitely comes in waves. There might be times where I'm like, I feel great. I feel so productive. But when that depression hits, I feel so worthless. And just, uh, I, 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 there's a lot of things that come with it. And a lot of scary thoughts that come along with it, too. And I've experienced everything in between them. Um, of self-harm, of, of suicidal thoughts, of injuring myself of all these things from when I was a kid, even till now. And those, those thoughts are so scary. You know what I mean? They're terrifying to think about because there's, those aren't realistic things that you want to do yourself, but that's what depression tries to teach us. It teaches us that you know, you're a horrible, worthless individual. You have nothing to offer in this world. Like there's, there's no reason for your existence is a waste of space. That is what depression tries to teach you. And it's a lie. It's a complete lie. That's a, it's a total lie. I know it's a lie. And yet those thoughts still come back, Right. And it's hard to kick those things. And I, I'm being so real with you guys right now, honestly. Like, that that's those are things that I've thought many times in my life. Many times. And it's what you do with those thoughts that really defines how successful you are with beating depression. The reason why I tell you this is because I have battled this my entire life. I've ba- I'm battling it right now. I've battled it my entire life. And... I can't be some preachy person and be like, oh, it gets better. Because I don't know if it gets better. Uh, But I do know what has worked for me. And that is trying to stay positive, keeping myself busy and trying to, you know, just stay away from those thoughts that just really bog me down. And it's like walking through mud. You know what I mean? Like when you're depressed, your feet are stuck in the thick of this bog, and it is so hard. People are, like, walking next to you and be like, I'll suck it up, just walk faster. And you're trying to keep up with people, but your depression is literally holding you back. And it is a mental block that is so hard to describe that only people with depression can really, really relate with, uh, if I'm totally honest. Um, And that is what I feel, honestly. That is how I feel on the inside, is that sometimes my my mind is bogged down with feelings of worthlessness and just complete just lack of self-worth in any way. And I want you to know that um, as hard as those times are, and as hard as those times currently are, like right now, um, I fight through it. It's not easy. And there are some days where I just want to lay in bed and I don't want to get out of bed and I just want to stay in bed and just lay there and just be like, I can't do anything today. And it's one thing to like not go to work because, or like not to go to school because you're like, man, I don't like, I've, I'm sick. I'm throwing up. People would understand that. But when someone like me who struggles with very chronic, deep depression literally says to themselves, I can't get out of bed and I don't know how to say why I, I, I can't explain why I can't call my boss and be like, 
I physically cannot get out of bed. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, I, I can't do it today. There's no like, you know what I mean? It's like going to, it's like going to work with a broken leg and you don't have a cast. Like it is, it is the hardest thing mentally to deal with. And that is how I feel most days. Um, and you know, with my own personal, uh, I guess adventure with treatment and trying to seek help with that has certainly helped in, to an extent, but a lot of it is on my own. It is on me. Right. And you can get medicated and there's some pros and cons to that, but Here's here's my point. I'm not trying to be some preachy, oh, I made it, guys. I beat depression. It's like, that's really not the case. I'm going to be fighting this my whole life. Um, and if it's any consolation, I've, I've made it so far. And if you're someone who does struggle with depression or if you're someone who has uh, been there and can relate, it doesn't matter what stage of it you're in. It doesn't matter if you've been a lifelong fighter like me, if you will, or if you're someone who's just kind of realized like, wow, why do I feel this way? Even if it was just yesterday, I, I can tell you that through constant vigorous uh, practice, you can learn to love yourself again. Um, and maybe that won't make sense unless you've been there. And maybe I've lost half the people who are watching this video. Legitimately, uh, if you've if you've watched this far into this video if you watch this far um i want you to, i don't even know say whatever you want say say something about bananas i want you to say the word banana in the comment section if you've legitimately w w watched over 11 minutes and 30 seconds of this video because statistically you probably stop watching this after the thir first three minutes to be honest um so I, I don't really know what else to say, but I want you guys to know what's going on in my life. When our, whenever there's long stretches of time where I'm not uploading videos or I'm not being productive or Tizzy's not necessarily in the right state of mind, maybe I'm not playing with people online like I normally play with, just know I am fighting my own personal demons. It is not personal. It is not anything that's your fault. It's nobody's fault. It's not even my fault. It's nothing that I did to myself to make me feel this way. It's just something I deal with. And... It took me literally two weeks to want to make this video. That's how hard it is for me to deal with this. I don't know what this video was. I don't even know if you got any enjoyment out of it. But I wanted to share more in depth what's going on with me. And hopefully this helps just even someone to put in perspective where I'm coming from. Because statistically speaking, I'm older than like 75 to 80% of the people who watch this channel. Um, so I... <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know what else I'm trying to say here, but I just wanted to share a little bit more of myself so that we can uh, we can get to know each other a little bit more. Cause it's it's hard for it's hard to find YouTubers who are real and are legitimate and want to share who they are with you. Um, and that's that's what I deal with. That's a little bit more about me. And maybe one day I'll I'll talk a little bit more in depth and uh, we can get to some of the really good stuff. But thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for supporting me. Uh, I, I know I know for a fact that if I was more consistent and if I did not struggle with depression as hard as I do, that I could get a lot more done on this channel. I could do a lot more creative endeavors. I could do a lot of things that would be very beneficial towards the growth of this channel. But know that me reaching this milestone of 1,300 plus subscribers is massive for me, for what I thought I was capable of. Um, just with my own personal fights with the depression, honestly, this is one of the, one of the best things I've been able to do recently. Um, and I'm very proud of it. Hopefully you can understand that. Hopefully you can see where I'm coming from. Regardless, know that I love you guys. I'm very, I'm so glad you guys are, I guess, in my life to a certain extent, as much as I let you in. And I'll try and let you in a little bit more. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all that you do. I love you guys. I am okay. Hopefully this didn't freak you out. I know I got kind of real there with a few a few things I talked about, but I am I am healthy, I'm happy, and I'm safe mentally. So you got nothing to worry about with me, guys. But thank you for watching. Thank you so much for all you guys do. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Leave a comment down below. Do you, uh, I guess without getting too personal, because we don't want to get, uh, we don't want to make things weird. Uh, <laughs> as, as weird as I've already made them. Um, do you know someone who struggles with that? You, it doesn't even have to be about yourself. You could use the, hey, a friend of mine tactic where it's like, oh, a friend of mine does this and they have this problem, but not necessarily me. It's totally cool if you do that. Like, that's totally fine. It works. It's fine. Who cares? Um, but share your own experiences. Can you relate with what I just talked about? Is this for? Is this a foreign idea to you? Um, do you have any empathy towards it at all? 
Um, I'd honestly love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.